Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I just wanted to do a real quick update video for everybody, um, kind of update where my training and rehab is at. Uh, at this point, I am uh, eight weeks post-op, nine weeks from the date of my injury, from my uh, ruptured bicep tendon. So it's got a few video clips in here uh, to kind of show you what I've been working on. Um, still, you know, kind of on the mend and can't go real heavy on stuff, but I'm definitely getting heavier. Started training two weeks ago and the weights have been slowly climbing up. Um, first uh, video here is just a couple sets of front squats from the other day. I've been doing a lot of high bar back squatting. I can't get into low bar squat yet with my shoulder. Um, I can, it's just really difficult with any sort of load on there. So took a break from the high bars today. Uh, went Did some front squats. It's probably the first time Probably the first time that I've front squatted in about four months, so uh, felt pretty good. I got 275 for six, uh, a little below where I've been at before. I think I've gotten 315 for six, but I was pretty happy with 275 for today. Um, and then what I've been doing is just kind of working up to one main set every day and then backing off with a lighter set for higher reps, just trying to build my conditioning and my work capacity back. So finished up here with uh, 225 uh, for a set of 12, um, and then I did a little bit of lower body uh, assistance work after this but uh, didn't record it just nothing really interesting happening there so and then uh, this was uh, from earlier today uh, got in another upper body workout this is kind of my pushing workout if you want to call it that uh, got in some flat bench some incline some overhead work um, and then some tricep stuff just trying to build back my uh, my tricep strength my elbow range of motions still not a hundred percent so um, but everything's coming along. I was able to hit 185 today for a set of eight, which uh, was pretty good. I've benched twice since I've been uh, back from the injury training. Uh, first time uh, I was able to get up to 135 pounds. Last time I did 155. Uh, today felt a lot better just in terms of strength and as far as range of motion and my elbow was better. So I was able to go up to 185 and hit a set of eight. Um, and it felt pretty good. I've still got a lot of weakness in my chest and my shoulder just from being in that sling for so long. I was in a sling for about seven weeks, um, almost completely immobilized all the time. And I just got a lot of atrophy, a lot of tightness and a lot of weakness in that right arm still. So I'm still limited, but again, moving in the right direction. Uh, backed off to 165. Uh, I believe I hit this for a set of 12. Um, and then after that, I moved on to the, uh, to the incline press. So really happy with how the, how the benchers are going. They're, um, they felt a lot better today, so I wasn't, wasn't sure where I'd be, but I was really happy with the range of motion in my elbow because that's, that's been lagging. The last couple of pressing workouts that I did, I was not able to uh, extend out all the way, and today I was, I'm having to be careful not to extend out too hard um, with that repair, but um, it felt a lot better today, and I don't have any pain in the, uh, where the surgery was at. So... Um, for incline presses, after I was done with flat bench, um, went to 145 pounds, knocked out two sets of 12 here. I just recorded one. Um, but the incline press strength is coming back as well. The first, uh, the first workout back that I did a couple of weeks ago, I was only able to incline with 95 pounds for like a set of eight. And today I was able to hit 145 pounds for two sets of 12. So. Um, I was pretty happy with that. And it, again, it felt good. Still feel a lot of tightness in that right pec, which is kind of worrisome when I'm on there, but, uh, it's getting a little bit less, uh, every session and it's not getting any worse with weight. So that's good. And then from the, uh, from the incline presses, uh, move to uh, a set of standing shoulder presses. This has so far been the hardest of my main lifts to be able to do. Well, I'm not deadlifting at all yet, really. Um, but as far as the upper body uh, movements, the overhead press has been kind of troubling uh, just because there's so much weakness in that right shoulder. Uh, my loads are really, really limited. This is just 95 pounds today. I worked up to a set of 12. Uh, at 95, but that's still a big improvement. This is only my second overhead press workout back. The first time that I overhead pressed, which was a couple of weeks ago, um, it was pretty painful in the forearm and the shoulder and the wrist. Uh, so I laid off of it for a few workouts and I came back to it today. But last time I was only able to get 85 pounds for like kind of a 
awkward set of five. And then today I was able to get 95 for um, a pretty smooth set of 12. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, and those are going good. And then I followed this up. I stripped some weight off and I went to the uh, behind the neck press, um, which I know is kind of an unusual movement that not a lot of people do anymore, but I've never had any trouble with it. It's never given me any problems. And actually what it's helping me with right now is to stretch my shoulder out. Um, my, sh my shoulder being in that sling for so long just got really, really, really tight and I've had a lot of pain, um, in the shoulder more so than any other area. Uh, you know, more so than even like the surgical site is my, my shoulder has been bothering me and these are actually making it feel better. Um, having the, the shoulders rotated back like this and I'm just using lightweight here. It's just 75 pounds, um, for a set of 12. Um, but this is, uh, I think going to help me actually get back into low bar squatting a little bit sooner. So. Um, it actually felt good. And then I finished off with some tricep stuff, but I didn't film that. So, um, anyways, guys, I uh, appreciate you taking the time to watch. I know this isn't real exciting, but maybe it can help somebody in their own, uh, in their own rehab later on. So I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot.